In this clip we're going to use properties of natural numbers to demonstrate how to perform a direct proof or proof by contradiction. So you know what natural numbers are and uh, we'll characterize even and odd numbers. So even numbers can be characterized by saying that they can be represented by the following a equals 2 times m where m is a natural number. Then a is even b is odd if you can represent it by 2 times m plus 1 where again m is a natural number. So with these properties we're going to uh, establish whether the following statement is true. So if n is even then n squared is even. So this is the statement we will now try to establish and we will establish in this particular case using a direct proof. We start out by the characterization of n again as it is even. It can be represented as 2 times m where m is a natural number. So m is element of natural numbers. If that is the case then we can express n squared as 4 times m squared. So let's see why that helps us. We will reformulate 4m squared as 2 times 2 times m squared. Now we will look at this part 2 times m squared. Let's call that p. And why is that significant? Well it's significant because we know that p is element of the natural numbers. If m is a natural number, m squared is a natural number and 2 times m squared is a natural number. So n squared is equal to 2 times p where p is element of the natural number and that is just the definition of an even number. So we have therefore proven that if n is even n squared is also even. We will now turn to the next statement if n squared is even then n is even. So we will uh, establish this using a proof by contradiction. When you have a proof by contradiction you're starting out with something that is not part of the statement which you want to establish. So here we suppose that n is actually an odd number. Remember we want to establish that n is even but let's say n is odd. So if n is odd then n can be represented by 2 times m plus 1 where m is element of the natural numbers. So if that's the case then we can re-express n squared as 2 times m plus 1 squared and uh, we know that this translates to 4m squared plus uh, 2 times 2m plus 1. We'll do a little bit more algebra. We'll factor out 4m uh, from the first two terms. So we have 4m is equal to m plus 1 and then uh, we still have the trailing plus 1. So why is that useful? Before we make that useful we will um, change that to instead of 4 times m to 2 times 2m times m plus 1 and now as before we are looking at this term and call it p again. Now what about p? m is a natural number so m times m plus 1 is a natural number and 2 times that is a natural number so p is going to be element of the natural numbers. That implies that n squared is 2 times p plus 1 and where p comes from the natural numbers and this is of course just the definition of an odd number. So this implies that if we start out with n as an odd number n squared has to be an odd number. That then by contradiction means that n squared can only be even if n is even as well. Okay, so n squared is even if and only if n is even as well. So this was an example of a proof by contradiction.